Hi everyone, it's Monique and I'm back with another project for Wild Orchid Crafts on behalf of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. So my next project is this altered clipboard that I created for a friend. Um, I used the Graphic 45 Communique paper line to do this. I uh, used a variety of Wild Orchid Crafts products. Um, what I'll do is I'll just zoom into different areas of, of the clipboard and explain what I used. So along the bottom here, I I layered a couple of the different trims from Wild Orchid Crafts. I started off with the Guy Pure Black Lace here. And then on top of that, I put the uh, Black Organza Rose Trim, the small one. And then in the center of each of the rosettes here, I just put um, a rhinestone from my stash. I actually created this telephone on my Cricut and I used a variety of different um, I used rub and buff, I used my gold leafing pan, embossing powders, all sorts of stuff just to kind of give it some dimension and grunge it up a bit. Underneath the telephone here you can see that I've layered one of the doilies from Wild Orchid Crafts and what I did was rather than rather than just leaving it white, it actually started out as white. I used a variety of distress stains, my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and distress inks just to to color it up. You can see there's some some red on it, some browns, that kind of thing. So I just used colors to coordinate with the paper collection. Right here I've got one of the large trellis roses. And those those are the uh, 40 millimeter off-white trellis roses and I used some fire brick distress ink on all the edges of the petals and then sprayed it with uh, my Blazing Suns Lindy Stamp Gang. On the side here you can see I've used one of the um, filigree antique gold flower embellishments and actually that was a leftover I had from another project and it only had three of the petals left on it but I thought it looked quite nice next to the trellis rose. It's difficult to see but right in the back here I've used one of the larger leaves. That one is the 50 millimeter green rose leaf. I've got a several of the hip rosebuds here which I sprayed black. It's actually Midnight Rendezvous Raven uh, Lindy Stamp Gang spray. But those those rosebuds actually came from the mixed yellow cream pack. Right here I have one of the uh, Gardenia Flower sprays. And again I used my distress inks on the edges. I think I used uh, brush corduroy on the edges of all the petals, sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang. I really like the Blazing Sun. It gives it a nice light gold shimmer and it's not too overpowering. And then I used my uh, Perfect Pearls and Cappuccino to color all the stamens. I, I just made a paint uh, with my water brush and painted all of them. And then right in the back here you can see I've used the red crystals. That's the burgundy crystal drops on the stems and it could actually these come in either gold or silver right? and I think it, it's dependent on what they have in stock at the time. Also just to add a little bit more texture you can see I've included little bits of stamens in there and that's from the mixed pearl stamens pack. Now if you look at this bunch here. Um, I've used here a small gardenia and that's just one of the small ivory gardenias. Again I use the fire brick distress ink on the edges with the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and I, I again painted the stamens in the middle of the flower. I've used a variety of leaves here. Um, the one is 
the white leaves in the 40 millimeter, this one here, which I sprayed with a couple of different sprays. I've got a leaf here which is from the 30 millimeter two tone rose leaf pack. I've got several of the hip rose buds here again, and that's from the white or cream pack, and I sprayed them with the Rondé Vue Black Raven. I think that's what it's called. Midnight Rendezvous Raven is the name of the, the Lindy Stamp Game color. Again, I've got some of the mixed pearl stamens. This little rose here is actually from it's from the 25 millimeter Deep Ivory Tea Rose pack, and I used brush corduroy distress ink around the edges of the petals and sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang. I really like the effect when you put the distress ink on the edge of the petals and then you spray it with one of the sprays. It helps kind of blend the colors into the petals and I re really really like the effect. So it may be difficult to see in the video but I did include a couple of the gears here from Tim Holtz and there's a game spinner. I've used a brad with a it's like a rhinestone center. Um, that was just from my stash. This black flourish there was from my stash as well. Over here I've got another little tiny Tim Holtz gear tucked in. A really miniature light bulb and just a silver bolt I got from... it was actually in a pack of, of charms from Michaels. And what I'll do is I'll make sure that all the products I've used are listed in the description box below. And I will also show close-ups of all these arrangements after this video. So what I didn't mention at the beginning of this video is the friend that I'm making this clipboard for is intending to use this just as a piece of wall art. They're not using it as a functional clipboard. So I wanted to fill the center of the clipboard with something meaningful and I thought, you know, if she hangs this in her craft room, maybe the, the saying would be applicable. It's, logic will take you from A to B, imagination will take you everywhere. And that's a quote from Albert Einstein. And I just printed that on, on vellum on my computer and I layered several layers of vellum here. I tore it, I inked it up using um, antique linen, actually no, I think it was old paper and brushed corduroy inks tore the edges, I curl the edges, and when I curl the edges of my paper like this, I quite often brush it with um, just a thin layer of the matte medium, just so that it holds that curl in it. You know, if it's humid out, you don't lose the curl, that kind of thing. It's also a little bit more durable if you're packaging things to, to ship. So along the top here, I I mimicked the this bottom edge. I put the black Gapier lace along with the small organza rose trim and the bling from my stash in the center of each. Um, I strung a chain over to the edge here and created a charm, so we'll focus on that, on that in a minute. However, I wanted to show you this upper corner here and focus on the, the products I used from Wild Orchid Crafts there. So I used a lot of the similar flowers in this upper right-hand corner as I used in the bottom left-hand corner. I started with one of the Deep Ivory, small gardenia flowers, and I edged that with the brush corduroy distress ink, sprayed it with my Lindy Stamp Gang, and again painted the stamens with my Perfect Pearls. Down here I actually used one of the 20 millimeter roses from the two-tone two mixed color open roses pack, and there was actually one in there that I kind of cream petals with red on the ends and I actually still gave it a little bit of uh, fire brick distress ink just to brighten up the red a little bit so it coordinated a little bit better. This rose right here is another one of the Deep Ivory Tea Roses with fire brick distress ink on the edges. I've added a couple more of the hip rosebuds here that were sprayed black. More of the leaves here. I've got Again, the 40 millimeter white leaves and also the 30 millimeter two tone rose leaf in there. And it's difficult to see here with the, the seam binding in the way, but 
I also have a cluster of three leaves underneath these these gears. These are more Tim Holtz gears and a miniature light bulb. And um, again, I used the 40 millimeter white leaf and two of the 30 millimeter two-tone rose leaves. I've also included some of the pearl sprays just to add more texture and interest. I've on the side here I've included a seven gypsies clip. I'm not sure what the name of it, but it, it's just clipped onto the edge just to add a little bit of of interest there. And I created this charm, which I will zoom in on here. So what I did was I included a light bulb here. I have one of the Tim Holtz metal foliage flowers there. And as a center, I just put like a, a daisy spa spacer in the center just to make it look like it has a center. Um, there's a variety of beads on here. This little guy here I really like. This is a small glass vial. And I actually took some of my black soot reinker and I put some drops in it. And may be difficult to see here, but it, it just looks like a little inkwell. And the top of it is clear and you can see the ink sloshing around in there. I've also included one of the pen nibs. I've got a little miniature gramophone charm here. A little telephone. A um, variety of the beads to coordinate with the paper line. So, so that's my project for this week. I hope you guys like it. Um, it was quite a challenge for me, but I'm really happy with the way it ended up turning out. And I really hope my friend likes it. Hope she proudly hangs it on the wall in her craft room or wherever else she would like. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, the list of products that I used are going to be down in the description box of the video. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And you know what? Go check out the Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube channel because there are projects being posted there every day. And you can see all the creative, really cool projects that all the different design team members are, are creating. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.